Imagine having the power to change the course of history with a single decision. Would you do it? Welcome to the world of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the central character of the movie Oppenheimer. A physicist by profession, Oppenheimer was catapulted into a role that would forever alter the course of human history. As the leader of the Manhattan Project, he was tasked with the creation of the most destructive force mankind had ever known, the atomic bomb. But with great power comes great responsibility and great moral and ethical dilemmas. For Oppenheimer, the lines between science and morality blurred. Was he merely a scientist doing his job? Or was he an accomplice in the creation of a weapon of mass destruction? This is the atomic question. A question that weighs heavily on the conscience of a man who was once just a scientist. In the end, the man who was once just a scientist becomes the father of the atomic bomb. The journey to create the world's most deadly weapon was neither easy nor straightforward. In the heart of the Second World War, the United States undertook an immense scientific endeavor, the Manhattan Project. This was more than just an engineering challenge. It was a race against time, a battle against the unknown, and a test of humanity's will and intellect. The Manhattan Project was a world cloaked in secrecy, a labyrinth of hidden laboratories and clandestine meetings. The scientists involved were tasked with a mission of unprecedented magnitude to harness the power of the atom. This was a realm where theoretical physics met practical application, where the lines between science and war blurred. At the helm of this enormous undertaking was J. Robert Oppenheimer, a man of great intellect and profound complexity. Oppenheimer wasn't just a leader, he was the driving force, the visionary, the heart and soul of the project. Yet his journey was fraught with obstacles. He battled with the weight of responsibility, the ethical dilemmas, and the intense scrutiny that came with his position. But despite the immense pressure, Oppenheimer remained unwavering in his dedication. His leadership was marked by his ability to inspire his team, to push the boundaries of what was scientifically possible, and to keep the project moving forward even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. The Manhattan Project was a testament to human ingenuity and determination. It was a journey of discovery, filled with groundbreaking scientific breakthroughs, but it was also a journey marked by struggle and sacrifice. Each stage of the project brought new challenges, new uncertainties, and new pressures. Yet, every hurdle overcome brought them one step closer to their ultimate goal, the culmination of their efforts was a weapon of unprecedented power, a weapon that changed the course of history. The atom bomb, a force of destruction born from the minds of some of the world's greatest scientists. Against all odds, the Manhattan Project was successful, but the victory was a double-edged sword. The atom bomb was a triumph of science, but it also posed profound questions about the ethics of its use and the implications for humanity's future. The world changed forever the day the first atomic bomb was dropped. So did Oppenheimer. When the mushroom clouds over Hiroshima and Nagasaki finally dissipated, the world was left in a state of shocked silence. The magnitude of devastation caused by the atomic bombs was unprecedented. The loss of life, staggering. And at the epicenter of this scientific and technological achievement stood J. Robert Oppenheimer, the physicist who led the Manhattan Project and the creator of the most destructive weapon mankind had ever seen. His reaction to the bombings was a mixture of awe and horror, a cocktail of emotions that would follow him for the rest of his life. His famous words, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, a quote from the Bhagavad Gita, echoed the profound internal conflict he felt. He had made a significant scientific breakthrough, yet the cost was a moral and ethical dilemma that left him wrestling with guilt and remorse. In the aftermath of the bombings, Oppenheimer became a vocal advocate for nuclear disarmament. He realized the Pandora's box he had helped open and saw the urgent need to control this new terrifying force. He worked tirelessly to promote international control of atomic energy, striving to prevent the horrors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki from ever happening again. Despite his efforts, he was often misunderstood seen as a traitor by some and a hero by others. His advocacy for nuclear disarmament 
led to him being ostracized from the scientific community that once hailed him as a genius. Yet he never wavered from his conviction, carrying the weight of his guilt and the hope for a world free from nuclear weapons with unwavering determination. The world saw Oppenheimer as a man of science, the father of the atomic bomb. But he was more than that. He was a man grappling with the consequences of his creation, a man whose guilt led him on a path of redemption, a man who, despite his achievements, was left questioning the cost of such a victory. Though he had achieved a scientific breakthrough, Oppenheimer was left questioning the cost of such a victory. Oppenheimer's story is not simply one of science and war, but of humanity and morality. As we delve deeper into the narrative of the film, we see the transformation of Oppenheimer from a brilliant physicist to a haunted figure burdened by the weight of his creation. Throughout the movie, Oppenheimer's character development is meticulously portrayed. We see him first as a curious scientist, fascinated by the potential of atomic energy. But as the plot unfolds, we witness a shift. The realization of what his work could do, and indeed has done, casts a long, dark shadow over his enthusiasm. This shift from excitement to regret is a powerful narrative arc that truly humanizes Oppenheimer. But the story doesn't end with Oppenheimer's personal journey. His impact on history, on the world, is immense. With the birth of the atomic bomb, warfare was changed forever. The power to obliterate cities, to annihilate millions, was suddenly a reality. This is the heavy legacy Oppenheimer leaves behind. A legacy of innovation, yes, but also of devastation. Yet there's more to learn from Oppenheimer's story. It's a tale that forces us to confront the complex relationship between science and morality. It's a reminder that every scientific advancement carries with it ethical implications. Oppenheimer's work, while groundbreaking, also unleashed a destructive force unlike anything the world had seen before. His story urges us to consider the moral responsibility that comes with scientific progress. The film's portrayal of Oppenheimer succeeds in humanizing a figure often seen in a purely scientific light. It takes us beyond the lab coat and into the heart of a man grappling with the consequences of his work. It's a portrayal that's as complex and nuanced as the man himself. In the end, Oppenheimer's legacy serves as a stark reminder of the power of the human mind and the moral responsibility that comes with it. His story, and the lessons it holds, continue to resonate long after the credits roll.